Welcome back to Rita Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm so excited to share another awesome book with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below and don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. We also have activities that go along with our books every single month. So to get those, head over to readaroukids.com. All right, today's book is called Little Penguin, The Emperor of Antarctica by Jonathan London and illustrated by Julie Olson. Oh, look at this little baby penguin and either it's mom or dad, this big emperor penguin. Let's get started. Little Penguin, The Emperor of Antarctica by Jonathan London and illustrated by Julie Olson. When the little emperor of Antarctica crawled out of his cracked egg, he looked around with his wobbly head. He was cradled on his father's feet. Little emperor was cold and hungry. Feed me, feed me, he peeped. Father Penguin dripped crop milk into the chick's wide open mouth. Then he tucked the chick under his belly flap. Now Little Emperor was cozy and warm. But soon he was hungry again and Father Penguin was out of milk. Little Emperor whistled and peeped and poked his head out. Feed me! Feed me! Just in time, Mother Penguin crooned her song across the windblown ice. Father Penguin trumpeted back, Here! We're here! Mother Penguin's making her way back. There, among thousands of voices, she recognized the call of her mate. She had been away for three months, hunting in the open sea. And now she had made the long trek back. And her belly was filled to bursting with fish, squid, and krill for her chick. Famished little emperor nestled between her feet and jammed his bill deep inside his mother's beak and ate and ate and ate. With a full belly, little emperor took his first tentative step. Whoops! He stumbled and slipped on the ice. Then he stood up, dazed and bewildered, and tried again. Tired, uh, he snuggled into the soft comfort of his mother's belly flap and peeked back out at his father's peekaboo. But Father Penguin was starving. While Mother Penguin had been away, he had stood in a huddle with the other males, each balancing a single egg and hadn't eaten for three whole months. Now it was his turn to make the long, hard journey down to the sea for food. And for weeks at a time through the long night of winter, Little Emperor's father and mother took turns trudging back and forth, back and forth, sharing their catch with their chick. And all this time, Little Emperor grew and grew. By the time the sun came back, spreading its light like a giant wing across the gleaming ice, Little Emperor was living more and more with the young penguins. With his soft tuft of down sprouting like wild grass, Little Emperor played with the others and waited for the sea ice to open not so far away. At last in midsummer, it was time. At five months old, Little Emperor and his clan waddled down to the sea. They hopped and leaped and tobogganed, whoosh, until they reached the ocean. Curious and scared, Little Emperor craned his neck and looked out to sea at the floating castles of ice. Suddenly, another young penguin bumped him. He slipped. Oh, no and plunged in, sploosh, and dove underwater. Soon the water foamed and boiled with hundreds of little penguins flashing through the sea. But 
Something was lurking. Something was waiting. A ferocious leopard seal! Little Emperor spun and twirled, he torpedoed away, leaped like a dolphin, and rocketed clear out of the sea, escaping the seal's deadly jaws. Snap! Squawking in alarm, Little Emperor waddled along the ice edge till the leopard of the sea was gone. Safe now, he plunged back in, paddling and leaping through the thawing ocean, chasing fish and squid and krill, bursting with energy and life. Now the little emperor of Antarctica would live at sea. In four years, as the dark of winter approached, he would begin the ancient journey back to the breeding grounds, where it would be his turn to balance one precious egg on his two webbed feet. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. To make sure that we can do that, be sure to click the subscribe button below, and don't forget to give this book a like. That way we know you want to see more books just like this from us. If you'd like activities to go along with our books, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There we do all kinds of fun things like science experiments, arts and crafts, we even practice our math and reading skills. We cook together. We have so much fun, so I hope you'll come on over there and join me. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can head over to all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>